Today is the first of a series of short videos featuring the Synology DS1621+. Plus. We're going to take a look at the unit, talk about its features, go over some of its specs, and get a couple of drives installed. I'd like to thank Synology for sending me this device. However, please note, they are not sponsoring this video, nor are they approving any of the content before it gets published. Looking at some of the more popular features, the 1621 Plus is a robust NAS that features an AMD Ryzen V1500B processor, which is a quad-core 2.2 GHz CPU. It does support hardware encryption, but not hardware transcoding, so it's probably not the best choice of NAS for use with Plex Media Server. The DS920 Plus, however, does support hardware transcoding and would be the better option for Plex. The 1621 Plus comes with 4 gig of DDR4 memory, expandable up to 32 gig across two memory slots. It features six hot swappable drive slots plus two M.2 NVMe slots. Note, the 1621 Plus is scalable and can support up to a total of 16 hard drives using two of the DX517 expansion units. Let's switch now to the overhead view and take a closer look at the 1621 Plus. If you're enjoying this video, please go ahead and hit that like button. It helps get the content out in front of more viewers. Now, let's get back to the video. On the front of the unit across the top from left to right, you have the Synology branding, the status and alert lights, the power button, and four LAN indicator lights. There are six drive bays with status indicator lights at the top. Finally, there's a USB 3.2 Gen 1 port in the lower right hand corner of the device. On the rear of the unit you have two large cooling fans, the power port, and the Kensington security slot right below the power port. Along the bottom, from left to right, you have two more USB 3.2 Gen 1 ports, four 1 gig network ports, and two expansion slots for use with not one, but two of the DX517 expansion slots. This unit, again, can support up to a total of 16 drives. And then finally, right in this area here, there's a PCIe expansion slot, allowing for either 10 gig or 25 gig networking. On the bottom of the unit, there are four rubber feet for desktop placement and an access panel to add additional memory. So if you want to upgrade the RAM, all you have to do is remove these two screws. It's that simple. Okay, so next we're going to get a couple of drives installed, actually three of them. I have Seagate Iron Wolf 6 terabyte drives, three of them. And I just want to mention, these drives came from your support. I did buy these out of funds coming from support of the channel, such as Patreon, using the Amazon affiliate links, and the Google ad revenue. So I want to thank you all for being supporters of this channel and making this possible. Again, these were purchased by funds made available by your support. So thank you. They were not sent to me by Synology. I just want to make that clear and let you know that the money that comes into the channel from your support goes right back to the channel so that I can make this content for you. So that being said, let's go ahead and get these drives installed. And it's very, very, very simple. Simply just take out a drive bay. These are tool lists, so basically just pop out the side panels, just like on the DS920+. Plus. Place the drive inside the tray, and just pop the side panels back into play. Once you have them secured, just slide the drive in and lock the tray. Now we're going to do the same thing for the remaining two drives. So that was just a quick first look at the Synology DS1621+. Plus. In the next video, we're going to go ahead and install DSM-7, set up a volume, and the storage pool. If you like this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Be sure to check out some of the other videos that I have listed here up above. Please remember to subscribe, like, and share this video. And I want to thank you, as I do in every video, for using the Amazon affiliate links. I know they don't change your price, but they do help out the channel. My name is Tony with Quick Tech Solutions. As always, please stay safe 
Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. And as always, I'd like to thank our Patreon supporters. And if you would like to help support the channel, there's links to the Patreon page and PayPal down in the video description.